Now, hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm out hitting the canal, we're out doing a bit of drop shotting. It's something you don't see me do very often on the channel, but from time to time I do like doing it. It's a little bit something different, isn't it? So, I'm going to go for my setup straight away. I'm fishing a 1 to 7 gram rod, which is the LMAB Mosquito. I've paired it up with the Abu Garcia Superior Reel in 1000 size. I've then got 8 pound uh, browning braid on there, um, down to 6 pound suffix um, for the main bottom end of the rig, which then has a size 12 hook on there, down to two shots. Now, you may be wondering why I'm using shots as opposed to a um, an actual proper drop shot weight. Um, I just wanted to go a bit classic, really. I, I believe that's how we drop shotting started. I mean, someone correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it started out someone using shots, hence why the name of drop shotting came about. So I'm using two, um, I think the BBs, uh, just to weigh it down. And I can alter them as much as I want. I can take one off, I could have one on. I'm just fishing two on there at the minute. Um, I'm fishing an ultralight bait, size 12 hook. I'm fishing a one inch bait. It's a 1.2 inch tipsy I'm fishing. That's what I'm going to be mostly fishing today. Even though I am fishing micro baits today, just one inch baits, I am going to be targeting some bigger fish. Um, so I've got a six pound. I did say six pound to begin with, didn't I? It's either six pound or five pound. Um, a suffix fluorocarbon um, leader um, that comes down from the, the eight pound braid. So that comes down. I've got about three foot of that. And then about eight inches from the bottom of that. Um, I then got the rig and we've got the, the one inch tipsy there on the size 12 hook um, and what I'm going to be doing is trying to find bream shoals or maybe just some larger fish, larger perch, keeping my eyes peeled. It's raining now, I'm going to have to pack the camera away and uh, fingers crossed I can try and pick out some larger fish uh, as opposed to the micro fish. I mean of course we're going to catch some little perch as well but fingers crossed we can catch some larger fish. Let's go for it, see what we can catch. Um, I could go with maybe two pound line, something like that, two pound fluoro, um, to really target those bream and roach and things. Um, but there is a chance of pike, and it's crazy how many pike actually take these one inch baits. And I would like to catch one today if I can manage to do it. So that's why I've gone with a six pound. It gives a little bit slight more abrasion resistance if a pike was to take it. So let's crack on, get some fishing done. Um, I'll go through my technique in a second, hopefully when the rain backs off a little bit, and uh, we'll see if we can catch any fish. I remember first, but I always start off in this spot when it comes to micro jigging or anything like this. It's just a nice little area where you tend to get a few few little perch, a few bites to start off with. I'm going to go with a 1.2 inch tipsy little bait that has always caught me, especially, especially small perch. I'll start off with one of them before we start using worms. Oh, I made a mess of that packet. So just got that on a, like I say, size 12 hook. Just thread one of these little tipsy on. Should be able to get an early perch bite. Probably, I'm going to guess first cast actually. Look at this. I'm not going to fish it like the usual drop shot way. I'm just going to thread it on like I would do if it was like a jig. I like fishing it like that way, some drop shot. I've only drop shot a few times, but it's always worked well. Unless there's anything in this flush that might want to take it. Probably a small perch, but it could have been a day, so a little chub. Go on. Oh, fell off. Very small perch. I'm struggling to hook up some of these perch at microscopic bit to take these baits. There we go, slightly better fish. There we go. Just 
still tiny. Really fat though. Crush that bait, look at that. Whoop, he's dropping back down there. Got a fish. Oh, it's a bream. It's a big bream. I was on a micro jig. That wasn't even on the worm. What a fish. I just thought I'd lost one as well. I had a right big thump and nothing. What a fish. And I just realised I tangled my neck up. <laughs> what a, what a fish. Let's get him in the net. Come on. Come on, boy. I'm going to drop shot. Look at that, what a fish on the drop shot, look at that little micro jig, 1.2 inch tipsy, around the corner of his mouth, epic fish, let's take a look on the big camera, we'll rest him in the water and we'll take a look at him on the big camera. What an awesome fish, on the little micro jig, look at that fish. As you can see there, little micro jig, little tipsy, 1.2 1, 1 inch in the side of its mouth. An awesome fish for the micro jig. Wicked. On the drop shot, should I say, not the micro jig. Awesome fish. Got a fish. Oh, it's a bike. Oops. Don't want you, you're gonna snap me. Stop. Do not break my drop shot rig. Stop. Loosen my drag right up. I don't want him to break my drop shot rig. I don't want to retie. Beautiful little jack pike though. <laughs> Catching beasts on my drop shot rig. On my drop shot gear, should I say. Little one inch tipsy. Come on, let's land you. We got him. What a drop shot, look at that. There we go. Look at that. Right just on the inside of his mouth there. <laughs> little one inch tipsy. A little one pound jack pike. Awesome little fish on the drop shot rod. Bye bye.
Whoa, I've got a big pack. Big pack just taking it. Huge pack compared to myself. Damn. Crushed it right down the margin. Don't break me. Oh, there's another pie. Oh, man. Please, please don't break me. Yeah, we're going to come up with like two pound and just target break. But this is the reason I put six pound on. This just gives you a little bit more abrasion resistance against these pesky pike. Man, it'd be a great picture if I landed it. And the ultra light gear. Come on, come on, don't break me. Come on, come on. I'm gonna have an audience in a minute. I hate it when people watch me, you know, when I'm trying to record and play fish. There's a bloke coming, I bet he asked me about the fish. I bet he goes, is that a pipe? I get him. Come on. <laughs> I can't quite get him. Come on. No, come on. Come on. So close. Come on. Please let me land you. Really squatting down now. Waking me. Thought that he's come on. I can't get him in there. How much can him? We got him. <laughs> on the tiny little ultralight one inch minnow uh, one inch um, tipsy right on the front of his mouth look at that and he's got some right old battle scars from when he's been there uh, doing a bit of hanky panky and right, let's get that on the hook just a little oh right. barbless one inch tipsy Catching micro micro perch, chunky bream and chunky pike. It's not the biggest pike in the world, but it's huge for an ultralight setup. Put him in the nose down and we'll sit him in the water. We might get a better look at him if I can set my camera up. Got a beautiful pike. There we are, you can see the wounds on him from spawning time. That was caught on a one inch bait, one inch bait on the um, ultralight gear on the drop shot. Awesome fish, and put up a, a massive fight. <laughs> Let's get him back, see what else we can catch before the end of the session. Wicked.